buddy, go ahead and uh, turn your microphones on. And we'll get started here. I will call the special meeting of the Jacksonville City Council to order. Uh, we have a, uh, everybody has at their place a copy of the uh, proposed agenda for tonight's meeting, special meeting. Move approval. Second. Okay, any further comment? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? All right, we, uh, we have an agenda adopted and um, the item on here tonight is for the Lejeune Greenway and Trail Route, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, I've, I'm trying to do it by memory here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. You have gifted each one of us with this day. We thank you for it. We thank you for the ability to be of service to our city and its citizens. We continue to pray for our veterans and their families. And tonight we especially pray for those that you would watch over those who are watching over us. Our service members who are watching on land and sea and in the air so that we can live in peace so that we can live with the freedoms that we are so graciously given here in this United States of America. Bless them and bless their families. And as always, bless our mayor and our council and give them guidance and direction. All this we ask in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Now be seated, please. <clears throat> and again, like I said tonight, the only item on the agenda is for the Lejeune Greenway and Trail Route. And I'll ask Dr. Woodruff to give us a brief presentation. Good evening, Mayor and Council. A little technical difficulty there. As you all know, I'm challenged when it comes to some computer activities. On October the 14th, you held a public hearing at the request of Congressman Jones, and you heard testimony for and against the proposed route. You also heard some suggestions on how the route could be modified. A, approximately a week ago, Wednesday of last week, you held a publicly noticed meeting for the purpose of deciding on the route of the trail. You will also recall that Congressman Jones asked the mayor to consider postponing any action. While you discussed this matter last week, you continued your discussion until tonight. So this matter is before you under old business, and the purpose of this meeting tonight is for you to give City Council, on behalf of the City Council, to give direction to the staff as to the route you would propose and any conditions that you would stipulate thereupon. I'd like to read into the record two letters. One is from Congressman Jones, and it is dated November the 7th. As you will recall, your meeting was November the 5th, which was Wednesday. So on Friday of last week, the mayor received this letter. On behalf of the families, thank you for your efforts to delay the vote. As you know, I've had many conversations with the families, and they are appreciative of your continued willingness to give a fair and honest and professional review of their alternative proposal. The families are hopeful an alternative between the memorial and Highway 24 is possible. If not, a proposal that would protect the sanctity of the memorial would be in order. As you have stated in the public hearing and to the media, the city of Jacksonville wants to consider the purpose of the path in its decision to move forward. We all agree encouraging more citizens to visit the memorial gardens is beneficial. There are certainly walking paths throughout the garden, so the idea would be to take measures ensuring that riding bikes would dis that riding, I believe it should have said, persons riding bikes would dismount and walk the area between the memorials, adding bollards as agreed to by the city in their report, and he's referring to a report of several months ago, on both ends, staggered, would help to ensure those on bicycles would dismount as they enter the area. Designing a slightly more narrow brick path to match the area in and around the Beirut Memorial 
would ensure those walking the area would feel as though they are part of the experience of the memorials. Adding signs, letting those entering the area know they are entering the memorial gardens would be appropriate. Adding and adding information signs to educate those about the Beirut bombing would be an opportunity to educate those visiting the area. Education was brought up by individuals in support of the current location during the public hearing. Other possible ideas presented by one of the families included making it a ticketed offense, meaning ticketed by the police department, to ride in the walking area, adding aesthetically pleasing light, lighting along the path and naming the path in honor of those who died in Beirut. I hope you believe these are reasonable requests presented by several family members and this compromise is consistent with your commitment about the purpose of the path to encourage visitors and to educate the public about the tragedy. It ensures that it ensures those with loved ones or friends named on the memorial continue to have a peaceful place where they can visit and reflect. Families would need the opportunity to consider any commitment by the city but I'm confident they will welcome the compromise as described in this letter. Sincerely, Walter B. Jones, Member of Congress. To that, Mayor Phillips responded on November the 10th. I'd like to read that. Dear Congressman Jones, on behalf of the city of Jacksonville, I would like to thank you for arranging the meeting today between architect John Sennett, your military liaison, Jason Lowry, and members of the city staff. At the conclusion of the meeting, Mr. Lowry presented your letter dated November 7, 014. That's the letter which was just read. In which you expressed support for the alternative techniques proposed by Mr. Sennett, which could be utilized to protect the sanctity of the memorial should the trail pass through as proposed by the advisory committees and city staff. These design techniques have merit and I will direct the city staff to give them serious consideration as we move forward with this important project. I can assure you that as mayor, I will make every effort to implement these or other techniques which will protect the sanctity of the memorials. While the process may not result in a route that is satisfactory to all, I'm confident that it has resulted in a better understanding of the issues and concerns of all involved. Based upon the meeting this morning, meaning this past Monday, I, meaning the mayor, have directed the city clerk to call a special meeting of the council for this Thursday, November 13th, for potential action on this matter. Thank you again for your courtesies and understanding. Respectfully, Sammy Phillips, Mayor of the City of Jacksonville. As was requested by the Congressman, we did hold a meeting with Mr. Sennett, the architect who has volunteered his time on many worthwhile and good projects around the community, including those in the gardens. We also, as was stated in the letter, had the liaison from the Congressman's office, Mr. Lowry, he was there. While there is still disagreement as to whether an alternative route could in fact be built, what Mr. Sennett and Mr. Lowry did say to the staff is that they recognize that time and permitting is going to become a problem relative to the funding of the project. And therefore, rather than to continue to support an alternative route, they are suggesting techniques. This evening, what we're asking you to do is to give us direction relative to the route. In the weeks and months ahead, we will take the time to analyze techniques. We will certainly involve Mr. Sennett. We will certainly keep you and the public informed as to the techniques that we come up with. There are differences of opinions, again, as to whether the techniques will work. At the end of the day, we must remember any technique that we propose must be approved by the NCDOT. So let me just give you one example. While in theory it would be nice to narrow the path, by DOT standards the path has to be 12 feet wide. On the other hand, surface patterns and techniques that we use on the surface are wide open. We can talk to DOT, we can talk to the people who do these type sidewalks or types of surface techniques and we will pick one that will indeed protect the sanctity of the area. This evening we come asking for direction. We have given you an agenda item and we would welcome questions that you may have. Thank you. Uh, Council, any questions of Dr. Woodruff? 
Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Winter. I'll go ahead and, and propose a motion uh, to, to begin discussion. I'd like to uh, move that we authorize uh, the city staff to advertise the, the route as currently designed and proposed, um, and then to also direct the staff to begin the bidding process, and then, of course, uh, look at some techniques to, to preserve the sanctity and, and to continue to work with uh, Mr. Senate as, as the city manager has proposed. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Is there any other comments? I do like, I would like to make some comments myself at this time. Um, first off, I'd like to thank everyone uh, for participating in the process uh, which the city has utilized uh, relative to the location of the Lejeune Greenway and Trail uh, I know that while this process is, may, may not have resulted in a route that is satisfactory to everybody involved, uh, I'm very confident that the process has resulted in a better understanding of the issues that were affecting a lot of people, you know, that had some reservations about this. Uh, I'd also like to commend the family members, uh, the Jacksonville citizens that are involved, the North Carolina Department of Transportation, and especially Congressman Jones and his staff, and his staff, and especially Jason Lowry, who worked real closely with our staff, and also uh, our city staff for the professional and courteous manner in which all parties have conducted themselves and interacted in this whole process, which was very important to this project. I'd also like to make sure, again, and reiterate or iterate that. Uh, the city staff work closely and, and continue to uh, pledge their best efforts uh, in identifying uh, design techniques that will that will work uh, to protect and ensure the trail as it passes through the memorial gardens will be done so in a dignified manner and uh, will protect the sanctity of the memorials. These memorials are very important to this communi community. The, com uh, the community itself, the city of Jacksonville, uh, was instrumental as far as these m memorials being raised to begin with. It was uh, a lot of contributions, both from private, but also a lot uh, from the citizens of Jacksonville to make sure that these happen. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, thing to have in our community to, to realize and recognize the sacrifice that was made by so many. And, uh, you know, it's the aim of this city council. I'm sure I, I, I might not be able to speak for everybody, but I think I am that, you know, it is our goal to ensure that those memorials live on past us and that, you know, the sacrifice that these people made will never be forgotten. Uh, also, uh, I look forward to uh, one day when we're all going to gather down there and, and have a ribbon cutting uh, for this addition to the garden. I think it's going to be a, a, a great addition to the garden, uh, to the gardens themselves. I think it's going to be a great addition and a great amenity to the active duty military folks that do use that trail. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how many people actually get on that trail and ride it to work on base in, in Camp Lejeune. And this is going to open up a lot more opportunity, hopefully, that more will be able to exercise the use of the trail. And again, uh, thank you to all the parties for the way that they've conducted themselves in this process. And uh, again, I think that, uh, that we will protect the sanctity of our memorials there. And with that said, I'll offer it up again if any council member wants to to comment. If not, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, vote on it. All those in favor of the motion uh, indicate so by saying aye. 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 All opposed? The motion carries. Any other business, council? Move to adjourn. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Meeting adjourned.